Hey guys, what's up? It's App OSX here, and today I will be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5 on an iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 3G, or iPod Touch 4G. Essentially any device that runs iOS 5 except for obviously the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2, as there is currently no jailbreak for that. So I have a 3GS right here running iOS 5. I'll go ahead and just to confirm run, that's running iOS 5, just to show you guys, there it is, iOS 5. And we're going to be using actually the latest version of Red Snow, 0.9.9 beta 7, 7 or some, uh, you know, weird numbering system. But whatever it is, it's a brand new version of Red Snow that greatly decreases the time it takes to jailbreak from about 200 seconds, I think, to about 80 seconds. So definitely a big increase in time. So uh, obviously, first you need to download uh, Red Snow. I will put a link for that in the description. Once you have it downloaded, we're going to open the folder here. We're going to take this over here and we're going to launch up Red Snow. So let's launch up Red Snow here and get rid of this window. Um, obviously with Red Snow there are um, extra options, you know, just boot and uh, custom IPSW, but we're not going to deal with that. We're just going to do the normal jailbreak. So we're going to go ahead and hit jailbreak and as with any Red Snow jailbreak you are going to need to turn off your iPhone 3GS. Obviously while it's plugged in your iDevice you're going to need to do that. So let's let that turn off. Wait till it goes off all the way before you do hit the next button. So it is looking like it's taking a little bit. Sometimes these things just take a while to turn off. I'm actually not sure why it takes so long. But once it's off, we'll be able to start the process. All right, it's off. And once it's off, we're going to hit next and prepare to hit the home button. Or I mean the power button, my bad. Hold that for three seconds. Continue holding the power and press the home for about five more seconds, make sure you're holding them down. And then we're going to release the power button and keep holding onto the home button until uh, a thing comes up on the screen saying something like Lime Rain Exploit or something like that. Once it does that, you can go ahead and let go of the home button and we're gonna go ahead and let this run through the first stage of the jailbreak right here. So let's let that run through. All right, and we're back, and obviously we are now at the next step of the jailbreak. As you can see, the device is in DFU mode. And we're just going to install Cydia. You can do, like I said, a lot of other options, like custom boot logos and stuff, but we're just gonna focus on jailbreaking, so we're gonna hit next, and um, now it's gonna go through the jailbreaking process, which is much sped up with the most recent update. There it is, 0.9.9 .9 beta 7 beta. So I guess it's like double beta. But let's go ahead and let this run through, and I'll get back when it's done. And now our iPhone 3GS is booting up, and just for your information, this is an old boot ROM iPhone 3GS, which means this jailbreak is untethered. However, if you guys have an iTouch 4G or a newer baseband iPhone 3GS or an iPhone 4, this jailbreak will still be tethered. Um, there is still no untethered jailbreak for iOS 5. And like I said, if you have an iPhone 4S or a uh, iPad 2, you cannot even jailbreak with this. There's still no exploit even for a tethered ex for a tethered jailbreak. So like I said, this is untethered. If you're doing tethered, it's basically the same process except um, you need to do it every boot. We'll slide to unlock right here once it gets unfrozen and we'll show that city is installed. And looks like this voicemail thing popped up. And we scroll to the left, and there is Cydia. And we're going to launch up City here. Um, I guess one negative side to the new jailbreak is that um, it now has to prepare the file system upon launch. Um, I guess it doesn't do that during the jailbreak process anymore, and it does it when you launch Cydia. So that is one downside to the quicker jailbreak. Um, but I guess it's a less amount of time that you have to pl be plugged into your computer. Um, so that's it for this iOS 5 jailbreak video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there for more jailbreak videos and reviews. Uh, follow me on Twitter at iAppOSX for all the latest updates. And also, don't forget to favorite this video and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.